Hey, it's Jose coming back at you guys. Um, and we're going to be doing a how-to video on installing these tent film on the, these front headlights for my scooter. Um, you can actually do it on any kind of headlight, your turn signals, the back, uh, but today we're just going to be doing it on the front headlight. So um, what you're going to be needing today is uh, the Neochrome or actually any tent film would work. But today I'm using the Neochrome. You saw my last um, package and video I mean unboxing same thing but yeah and also you're gonna need um, a little squeegee right here put this over here aside a little razor cut the edges out you know make sure it's sharp over here and also some kind of liquid some kind of spray you know like a lot of people use water and soap um, right now I'm just gonna use uh, this this window glass cleaner just have my garage it's really quick but yeah let's get started <coughs> so what we're gonna do is you want to pull out a good amount but not too much so you don't waste you know measure it out I, what I do I just lay out the whatever I'm using on top of the wrap you know on the other side I just cut it off where it ends so I'm gonna do that like so. I'm gonna cut it. it. Doesn't have to be a perfect cut or anything like that because this is gonna be access. Put this to the side. First you're supposed to clean it. So I have a little cloth over here. Just gonna clean it with this one the cleaner as well. Spray a little bit. Nothing too crazy, you know. But yeah, it's nice and clean. Make sure you get all the water off, and well, actually, just make sure you get all the dirt off. So I use another cloth I have right here. Get it really clean. You guys can see. Get it clean, 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 clean got to do all right so I need a little bit dirt off I must have cleaned it yesterday or I actually clean my scooter almost like every day so yeah you get it clean and then well, I kind of got a little bit on the wrap so dry that off all right so what you do you want to um, open take the little sticky stuff off of the the wrap okay just give me a second this part's always difficult because i actually had already did all right here we go just like that and it feels right open nice from that out make sure you don't you know try to go too fast so you end up breaking the part halfway in the middle and then you have to use another piece Right, it kind of smells like some kind of glue, really strong, old school taste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it down a little bit, get it wet. Well, I'm, I'm gonna spray it over here so I don't get anything. The table wet, but just get it a little nice and wet, you know. Don't be afraid, but don't put too much. Set this to the side. Make sure. The sticky part goes on first. Oh, I mean, the sticky part goes on the side that you're gonna put it. Be putting it on. Don't don't put the non-sticky side on. See, so like for example, this side I'm touching right now is the sticky side. So I would reverse to put it right here. The non-sticky side would be on the outside, and the sticky side would be on the inside. So you want the the, the sticky side on the inside going in. All right. So just. You just like try to put it evenly in the middle. I'm sorry, I just I'm gonna make sure I do this right. Even in the middle, where you got enough. Make sure you you're even. You know, I just place it nicely like that. Then as soon as it's on a little bit, just firmly, just a little bit, touch it. Okay. 
Ke Farm. Because later on, so we do. There you go. Wait for it to dry a little bit. It's a process. There we go. On there now. Not really. All right, guys. Well, just give me a second. I got a little too wet. That's what happens. So here we go. Put it on here. Firm it. I like to start from the top to the bottom and to the sides. Make sure you have no bubbles. But then, and then don't worry now because in the end we'll be using the squeegee and um, a heat gun. But today I, I don't have a heat gun. So we'll be using a hair blower. It, it works just as well. Okay, and then see how I'm doing this. So you guys can see the headlight, it's covered. I just, let me use this little tool, it'll probably be better. And I'm, I'm gonna start up. Make sure we take all that air bubbles out. It's a little hard to see. Just keep it wet so you don't mess anything up. When you keep it wet, it's a little bit easier to slide, as you can see. And then you don't scratch as well. You want it to just stick on there nicely. No bubbles. Zero. Because you, you gotta remember this is going on your front headlight and this is what everybody's gonna going to be seeing. So you just take all the bubbles out. Make sure it's trying to stick. And the bottom is always gonna be hard just the way because of the headlight. But like I said, if you start from the top to the bottom, it sticks. And then when, when the water or whatever you're using starts to dry, it, 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 you'll, you'll see it working. So let me, let me finish this off real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I have a, a lot of cut all the access so it can be easier to work with because it's kind of getting in the way. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna be doing right now. Just take your razor that you had Try not to cut too low because you're going to need that. There you go. Once you cut it off, you know, you can just put this to the side. Probably won't be using that again. <clears throat> Maybe now you can still, let me cut it a little bit more so you guys can, not really, I'm going to leave it like that so I don't mess it up. Try to get these air bubbles out. Right now you guys can see how it's wrapped. Right here in the bottom, I just need to see how it's drying. I can just touch it, but I don't want to put too much force now to ruin it. But I'm just showing you guys, for example, the bottom just needs to go down underneath more. And with the heat gun, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be heating like the sides, and it will kind of like melt it, kind of, and just want to bend. And with your hand, you just move it back and it just sticks. It helps it, you know? So, yeah. So I'm just going to keep doing this, trying to take all these air bubbles out and make sure it's sticking underneath, you know. I'm going to take the rag, it's a little too wet underneath, so I'll just dry it right there, just so I can make sure it sticks, because you don't want to be driving, you know, all on ass on the scooter and your film starts coming out and looking all ugly, like going down the road, you wouldn't want that, I know I wouldn't. There you go, it's starting to come along. I'm really liking it a lot, actually. So, yeah. Okay. That off. You know, I like to be clean. Now, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking, you're going to be needing a heat gun. But today, we don't have a heat gun, so I have a, a blow dryer. It works just as well. 
So we're just going to turn it on. See, it's just my girlfriend's blow dryer. Turn it on, get it nice and hot. Just put it high. These things get really hot really quick. Sorry about the noise, guys, but I'm just going to demonstrate. Just watch, you know. I'm going to heat up the side of the plastic, and you'll see it melt. We're gonna start with a, we're gonna start with the top side. And just remember, remember don't don't put it too close when you put the heat gun or or, or whatever the heat gun air, air, air blower. Just don't put too close, but a, a good distance. Here we go. Heat it up for a little bit because this is just me here. Usually, you'll have two people, one heating it up and the other really quick. So, I'm gonna heat it up really fast. As soon as I take the heat, the blower off, really fast. You ASAP because you don't you don't want the, the wrap to be getting cold because once it gets cold, then it will be hard for it to stick again. See how on this side it got cold and I can't stick it back, it's really hard. Over here, you, you can tell that it's, it went back in. You can tell that the headlight is starting to form now. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and heat it back up one more time over here again so I can like push it back and make it look nice. And then as soon as when the top part is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bottom. And then after the bottom's done, you, you're gonna go ahead and take your, you're gonna go ahead and take your, your razor, wherever I put it, <clears throat> somewhere here, but you're gonna take the razor and you're just gonna cut off the ed the trim the edges, which is the axis. Maybe I'll show you the back side, see how you can see. Maybe a better look. This is from when the heat, I, as soon as I put the heat blower, it, it bends it. And then you take the squeegee and you push it back. I, I didn't have enough time, or I wasn't doing fast enough to see how this side went back up. So I, I'm gonna go again and I'm gonna heat. I'm gonna heat the top part so we, we can squeegee it back down. And let's do that. So I'm gonna go ahead really quick, really fast. Make sure you get no all the air bubbles out so it looks nice and clean. See how you can tell now guys that how now it's all leaning back. Slowly it's starting to come together. The top part is down. This this is just access right here from the back side sticking up. Once once I we, we trim it all out, it's gonna look really clean on the top. The bottom looks a little air bubble because it's not even on yet. When we do the heat, I'm, I'm gonna do all the air down now. That's why I like to start from the top because if you start from the bottom, it's gonna be a little difficult to bring the air all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna start from this side and heat it back up. I'm just gonna continue the process. You know, just keep heating the sides and you'll feel, and once you put the heat gun or a hair blower onto the heat wrap and it dries, I mean, it gets cool again, it gets more rougher than it was before. Okay, so I'm gonna heat it back up, and <clears throat> here we go. As soon as I take the air, turn the air blow off, pick up that CG and just start. That's how you're gonna get it clean. There we go, put it down, grab the squeegee, there you go. Boom, boom. Just like that, just like that. See how you guys can, it, it's coming together now. I just did this corner, really nice, really nice. 
just make sure you squeeze so I give you an example like squeeze down you know so, so all the air can come out from underneath from underneath here where this flap is going so you're gonna go down and the air is gonna come out from underneath so see how I got some air bubbles right here right here and right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the heat heat gun I'm gonna heat this whole section up to here and then when it, this section is nice and hot I'm gonna go down with it and it should come out like this this angle right here as you guys can see a little bit all right so we're gonna do that Squeeze you really quick. Try to fix that that little those bubbles that you had from earlier. Boom. Go on here to the other side. Remember, I'm not a professional. It's just out of my garage. So you guys seeing that so far? Then you just keep hitting it with with, with the with that with the hair blower or the heat gun. You just keep doing that, you know. Just getting all the bubbles out. If you touch it, you know, it's hot, but it's it's on there. It's on there. But I guess the adhesive glue and the heat makes sure it's together. It helps it, like, stick even stronger. <clears throat> like a, it's like a super glue. Almost. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep trying to take all these air bubbles out. You can also do it by hand. Don't need to squeeze it sometimes, but try not to use your fingernails. Because then you'll be scratching it. And that would be no good. See, so, yeah, on this side, I'm just trying to work the air air bubbles down. I would just just need to keep going. Just need to keep going. Haven't even done this side yet. But as you can see, how this left this, this side over here is coming along. That's how it is. So yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. That that that's how um sums it up. How how to do it um in the end. Um, I'm just gonna cut the video here so I can finish it off, you know, so I make sure I do it properly Because I only do want just want to do it one time, but make sure in the end you, you take all the air bubbles out And then when you're finished you get a nice clean cut with the razor you get a nice clean cut And then if you want you can spray that on um, window cleaner or everything just clean it off really quick if, if that's if you like to so it can be a really nice shine but yeah, that sums it up for today's video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And um, stay tuned for an update video that I will be posting tomorrow on, on how, the, how the scooter looks and how all the neochrome uh, on the scooter um, will be looking. I uh, already did the headlights and the back lights for the brakes. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for the video. And thanks for watching. Peace.